They say that human beings are social animals. But there are times when we're not very sociable. We have to realize that living together requires certain skills. So that the living together really is helpful for everybody, enjoyable for everybody. And the Buddha lists four skills. The first is generosity. You have a little extra something, you share it with others. You don't hoard things for yourself. I know of some monks who lived up in the northeastern part of Thailand, and there was one monk who was responsible for the distribution of gifts to the other monks, and they found that he was hoarding. It really had a bad effect on the morale of the group. So you have something extra, you share. The second principle is kind words. Show respect for the person when you're speaking to the person. Even if you have to say something critical, show respect. Choosing the right time, the right place, the right way of phrasing things to show that even though you don't agree with the person's behavior in one way, you still it's not a blanket disapproval of the person. That way they're going to be more willing to listen. The fourth pr principle is genuine help. You help in ways that really are for that person's benefit. You don't just go through the motions. You don't just do it for a show. But you ask yourself, what does this other person really need? And then you see if you can provide that. We need this especially here at the monastery where we all have our duties. And sometimes we feel, I've got enough duties on, on my plate. But we see somebody's going away, well, there's certain duties that need to be done. And so you ask, is there anything I can help, help with? Anything I can do? You have to wait until you're told. It's kind of late, and it doesn't really help with the, the mood of the group. A volunteer attitude is much more livable, much more sociable. And finally, consistency. You're consistent in the help that you give. You're reliable. I was reading a book one time saying that if you really want people to appreciate your help, be inconsistent. Otherwise, they'll take it for granted. You want to take the author out and shake him up a little bit. Because what we need is consistency in our relationships, so we have a sense that we can depend on one another. This applies in the monastery, it applies outside. When you develop these four qualities, then life together becomes a good life together. You're happy to live together. And the people around are not just there in the way, but they actually help you along the way. And you provide the same help for them. This is how we live together. The Buddha said that eventually society is going to degenerate. It reaches what they call the sword interval, where people just hunt one another down like game. Sometimes it looks like we're, we seem to be in that period now. But the people who survive are the people who don't participate in that kind of activity. They, they go into hiding. And when the interval is passed, then they come out. And they realize, okay, well, life together has to depend on virtue. So that's another quality to keep in mind, that we're virtuous in our behavior with one another. Other people may not be virtuous, but that's their problem. We hold to our virtues. And that's how human society can survive, and not just survive, but thrive. Provide a good place to practice.